Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to talk about rules in item Pierre. Uh, there is the rule window and here you can define rules for different um, things. For example, for um, general ledger reconciliation, for human resources and payrolls. But what um, I personally find the most interesting is you can define model validators, processes and callouts in the rule window. And I already prepared a script process and a callout. And as you can see, um, I choose uh, Beanshell as my um, script type. So if you create a new um, process and it's um, JSR 223 uh, scripting API and you want to save it, um, you see that you uh, can't save it without um, adding one of the valid uh, scripting uh, uh, languages. So in my case, I use Beanshell, and all you have to do is um, use your script language and uh, colon, and then the name <coughs> how you want to call it. So here I called my process my script process and what uh, it does is um, it puts a variable in the context and then it returns a message where I use the variable from the context in my return string uh, so it gets replaced <laughs> with this string. Um, quite simple and I can run it, my script process, run it, hello world, some value to display. And the cool thing here is uh, if I now modify um, something, like I don't want to display this anymore, I can change it and it directly um, takes effect. I don't have to um, build any OSGI bundles, I don't have to refresh my server or whatever. So if you have uh, simple processes which can be written in script languages, then this is definitely what you can um, do to um, yeah, <laughs> be faster than uh, developing a plugin and build it and install it, etc. etc. If you want to use this um, process, then um, Why? Oh, okay, so here it is. Um, then you have to put add script and a colon and then use the search key of your, um, of your rule and put it as the class name in the process and then, yeah, you can start it. Another um, example would be a callout. So here you see my callout got fired, the old value was Jan and the new is Jan ASC. And this uh, callout simply uses the system out print line, returns an empty string, and uh, everything is fine. I could throw an exception and then, um, yeah, I would get the exception displayed, for example. And yes, that's. Uh, you have also to use, of course, the, um, the language name if you use a scripting language. Of course not if you use um, SQL. And then in the window, uh, in the table and column, uh, there's in the technical section the callout field. And here also was at script column, the name of the script. And I believe you can uh, comma separate more than one uh, call out here and yeah also this is uh, quicker than um, developing a call out uh, in a plugin and build the code and install it and or maybe even restart the server sometimes um, this all takes uh, time and yeah with this with the um, rule window and script rules for callouts and processes and model validators, etc., uh, you can save uh, a lot of time 
when you um, develop your system. And if you want to learn more about this, then I recommend you um, the Adam Pierre Wiki with the script process, script callout, and uh, the other um, script sites like um, Model Validator. And yeah, here you get uh, useful information like uh, what um, variables are there for you. For example, the A old and A value. The, you can get the field, which is an instance of a grid field. Um, the tab, which is the grid tab. The window number, which is an integer. And um, the context, of course, our um, properties, uh, which we um, often are interested in. Yeah, here you also get a little example and how you um, can use it. And I think um, that's all I can say about it. Uh, I hope this video helps you and I see you in the next video.